Merry Christmas. I'm Dr. Kirby Thompson, naturopathic doctor and acupuncturist, owner and operator of Wildflower Wellness here for Dr. Kirby's Pick. Now, it has come to my attention, my field, my view, in the last couple of months about antibiotics and how people run to get them when actually there are a lot of other options and antibiotics mm -hmm. can actually put you at risk later for certain disease pictures, right? So, and, and when I started doing research, I actually pulled up this Consumer Reports article. If it's in Consumer Reports, come on, it's something. So, every year, doctors prescribe millions of antibiotics. Up to 43% of antibiotics prescribed in doctors' offices could be, could be unnecessary according to <clears throat> nationally representative study published in the journal of British the British Medical Journal on December 11th. So when we're talking about antibiotics why is that important? Because the more antibiotics you have the greater risk for other problems you have not only now but later on in life. So look here side effects of antibiotics allergic reactions, possible Clostridium difficile infection, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, leaky gut. Now these all come from uh, different research articles. Uh, antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria living in your gut, microbiome problems, Parkinson's, Crohn's disease, psychiatric and mood disorders, heart attacks and stroke. I actually found quite a few articles relating women's health risk of heart attack and stroke to overuse of antibiotics. Also, uh, sepsis, depression, ulcerative colitis, asthma, and allergies. And as I'm reading these side effects and these uh, actual research articles on different conditions that it might put you at greater risk for, uh, another one showed up and that is cancer. Not only colon cancer, but actually <clears throat> breast cancer. There are studies uh, which actually started coming up in the early 2000s that showed that chronic use of antibiotics actually put you, could, put, could put you at risk, greater risk for breast cancer. And, I, you know, a lot of people I've seen, you know, chronically have taken a lot of antibiotics for every little thing that comes across the health. Um, so, uh, one of the articles said the use of antibiotics may be associated with the risk of breast cancer through effects on immune function, <clears throat> inflammation, metabolism of estrogen and phytochemicals. Uh, hold on. Now, there, let's talk about now what are some of the conditions that antibiotics are used for that you could possibly use something a little more natural. And again, this part of it, the... Uh, Top six actually came from consumer reports. Oh my goodness. Respiratory infections, sinus infections, ear infections, pink eye, uter uh, pardon me, urinary tract infections, and eczema uh, are conditions that uh, a lot of times actually can be viral or from some other cause. And in older people, UTIs can be from uh, a combination of scenarios, from hormonal imbalances, especially in women, where they, they have that dryness in that lower region, and it actually puts you at greater risk for irritation, which can then get infected. So, I mean, there's a lot of different etiologies as how things came, to, came about. Me, personally, I actually uh, had a sinus issue that actually kind of, after I got in the sauna, actually kind of turned into an eye infection. So what I did was I got some herbal eye drops and actually a homeopathic eye drop and I started using those together and then, praise the Lord, was able to get a couple of herbals. Within two days it was cleared up. Now, I had gone to uh, an eye person, doctor, uh, you know, after that just to make sure because Whenever I have a lot of weird things come in the office related to an organ system, I start to get concerned for myself. Maybe somebody's trying to tell me something. So I went to the optometrist just to get it checked out to have someone view the retina. And they said they didn't find indications of anything, but here's a drop. So I went to the pharmacy. I didn't even question it. I got the drops filled. 
I used one drop in each eye, and then I read the package insert. Very trusting I am sometimes. And the package insert said that it was a steroid eye drop and that it could actually cause a fungal eye infection within two days of use, and it could cause uh, uh, blindness, um, cataracts, and glaucoma. And I threw it away. <clears throat> And I said, I put it aside, and I said, well, I'm just going to continue on my other things, and it cleared up. So a lot of times, remember, in the therapeutic order of naturopathic medicine, there is a place for steroids and antibiotics, and they are very useful things. And I, I think, you know, it is great when they are needed, but those are levels six and seven. There are other things that we can use. And... A lot of times when people have sinus infections, upper respiratory, you have to address the nutrition, the sleep, the rest, the exercise, and the mental emotional uh, part of disease, why people keep getting these. You know, the hormonal problems, the age-related issues. And there are other ways that can be do this that can be much, that can be just as or more effective. Uh, so I, I really think, so, how does that help you? That helps you because it is important to get to someone that can actually help you naturally. Wildflower Wellness does that. So if you have an acute problem, we have an acute visit. If you're a patient, just schedule it. If you're not a patient, then you do need to be scheduled for a new patient visit. And we would love to help you. We can answer any questions that we want. So give us a call or visit us online at www.wildflowerwellnessllc.com. <laughs>